Yo, what's going on guys? It's Humbo here and today I'm bringing you the part 2 to my exit lag tutorial. We're going to be going over updated settings to lower your input delay and ping by a good amount. I'm also going to be going over some comments from the first video that I missed and just clearing up some things that you guys had questions on. I'm really excited to get into this video. Last time it did great so make sure you guys just drop a like, make sure you guys subscribe and let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so now once you've selected your game, uh, mine being Fortnite of course, uh, the first thing you want to do is find a game region that is closest to wherever you live. So the main thing that Exit Lag is actually doing is routing you to the closest possible server to play on. So I live in Florida, for example, which is NA Eastern Servers, but the closest server within my game region is US South Carolina 1. Um, you're not going to get that automatically normally. Um, you guys may notice when you load into creatives or in games you're getting different ping in different games and this is because Fortnite is randomly routing you to different servers depending um, on a lot of factors we don't really know for sure but all the exit lag is doing is guaranteeing that you will get whatever server you have selected or whatever region within your server you have selected. So for me the closest one and you might have to look at this on a map or something but the closest one for me is US South Carolina 1 and you're going to have two TCP routes and one UDP routes. And once everything's like this, make sure you don't have this checked because certain places you live, this might uh, mess you up if it's only using routes in your country when you might have a neighboring country with a better server. Um, all you're going to do now is just click optimize and it will analyze these routes. This will take a second. And while we're doing this, I also just wanted to let you guys know, uh, this is another question that I got a lot. You cannot be banned for using exit lag on Fortnite. I'm not sure about other games, but I have looked into this and asked around, and you cannot be banned for using exit lag on Fortnite at all. Also, if you have a public DNS, that will not affect exit lag. And exit lag is also, you get a three day free trial uh, at first, and then every month after that, it is $6 a month for, for the program. And now with that finishing up, you guys are all good here and all you're going to click is apply roots and boom this is the exact screen it should look like actually some people get confused because it says no connection through exit lag and that messes some people up but this is the perfect uh, screen this is exactly what it should look like now we're going to get into the other settings to get your FPS up to get down your input delay so let me get into that right now okay guys so now you're going to head over to the tools section with me and we're going to start out in general and you can just copy down these settings as I have them pause if you need. Now I'm going to be getting into the most important section which is FPS boost. Now guys there's a couple caveats here uh, depending on your circumstance and I will be going over them but you want to have defined maximum processing priority for games on, defined minimum processing priority for game systems on, uh, energy efficient internet you can have that off. You want to disable the game bar or game DVR. Uh, that's for like your Xbox uh, record settings. You can have that disabled if you're not using it like I'm not. It will actually help your performance a lot. Uh, you want to disable core packing on. And now you want to have these off, but some people have a problem with exit lag crashing because of Windows Defender or your Fortnite crashing when you have exit lag up or trying to run it. So you can turn that on if needed. Obviously, if you're not using Windows Search, you can turn it on. But for most situations, uh, you're going to want to have these off because you still need them regardless of their import, like that they can increase your performance. Um, but yeah, you guys can just copy down my settings as I have them. But yeah, once again, if you're having a problem with Windows Defender, you can disable it here. And now under traffic shaper, you want to make sure you don't have um, any limit on your connection speed. So you want to make sure that's on never limit. And besides that, guys, uh, those are the only settings that you need to be worrying about here today. And now whenever you're ready to open up Fortnite or whatever game you're playing, all you have to do is minimize it. Um, it should show up down here in your uh, taskbar. And as long as exit lag is running in the background, it doesn't have to be on screen. And then you can just proceed to open up whatever game uh, you plan on playing. And I hope this tutorial really helped you guys. I have noticed a significance different in my ping and my game feels a lot better. So I do, I'm not sponsored by exit lag in any way, by the way. Just wanted to make sure you guys know that. Uh, I have no affiliate thing with them, nothing. I'm just uh, making this tutorial for you guys to use free. And I hope you guys really enjoyed. I hope you guys drop a like and sub. I'll be bringing you guys brand new content uh, every week and also streaming on my Twitch very consistently. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it was helpful. Peace.